Opening statements in the Tex McIver trial have begun. Now, this morning, the defense addressed allegations of bribes and what they say was hype from the media. Things also took an emotional turn. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor joins us now. And Angelique, at one point, we understand that McIver was brought to tears. Good afternoon, Sharon. There were lots of fireworks, and yes, Tex McIver was in fact brought to tears when defense attorneys started talking about his godson and how he and Diane felt about their godson. Let's go straight to the courtroom now. Uh, McIver pulled out a tissue and wiped his eyes when the defense talked about how dear Austin Schwal was to both he and Diane. Now, prosecutors told jurors this case is about Tex's desire to maintain an image of wealth and power despite his diminishing finances. Prosecutors say Diane was starting to finance Tex's beloved ranch in Putnam County. The state says that's when McIver decided to kill her in order to maintain control. And we also heard a bombshell allegation of bribery today that Tex attempted to bribe Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard through a third PR person. But the defense says this shooting was an accident and they only have to look to Diane's own words to prove that. What he tells Mr. Dickerson is you can get this case dismissed. You can get this case dismissed. And if you do, there's a large bonus in it for you. And I won't mind if you share it with the DA. But what she says to Dr. Hardy, um, without any prompting, is it was an accident. Dr. Hardy doesn't ask her, you know, do you think it was an accident? Do you think he did it on purpose? She offers, it was an accident. Now, prosecutors have started their case. They just called their first witness, and they have 97 of them. Uh, they also told jurors during opening statements that MacGyver gave some six different statements to hospital personnel over at Emory University. And, of course, that is where Diane was initially treated and subsequently died. Reporting live from downtown, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News.